Hey guys, if you're watching this, I have some really sad news. So if you guys haven't already heard, China has imposed extremely strict video game restrictions very recently. I mean, the news just came out today. By the time you're watching this, it would have been an effect uh, maybe just like a day or two ago. I'm gonna pull up a, an article right here that I see on CNN, right? So this is from CNN directly. China has barred online gamers under the age of 18 from playing on weekdays and limited their play to just three hours most weekends, marking a significant escalation of restrictions on the country's massive gaming industry. Starting this week, minors will be allowed only an hour of playtime between eight and nine on Fridays, weekends, and public holidays. And it's just, oh, my cat. Uh, excuse me, let me let my cat out real quick. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, forgot the cat was in the room. Okay, yeah, so, so 8 to 9 p.m. on Friday, weekends and public holidays. And I mean, that, that's crazy. And uh, I'm reading this article. And one thing that I really noticed was... Um, down here some 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 of the chinese obviously have commented on this and um one of the biggest quotes that i read on here the chinese use a uh, app called weibo it's basically like the twitter of china but somebody said china doesn't have the future for esports then it's impossible for teens to train kids in other countries will win the world champion at 17 years old while we start to play the game at 18. That's a pretty profound statement, but if you think about it, kids literally cannot play anything competitive until they're 18. Like, they can't even begin to try and play a game. Like, you, you like you can't play any online... Well, there's some online games you could play three hours a week, but... I mean, let's be honest. Everyone watching here, PUBG, PUBG Mobile, whatever you come from, you probably play more than three hours an entire week, right? Even if you're a casual player, so that's insane to think about. Now, moving on to the most important thing, right? PEL. So my channel, I mean, if you guys are watching, most of you guys will know, I watch a lot of PEL. If you don't know what PEL is, it is the Chinese League for PUBG Mobile, basically. And the Chinese League, they have a lot of full-time players that play this game that are under the age of 18. And when I say full-time, I mean legit. They're making money. They're making a salary from this. They have living provided for them. They're Just last week, we watched um, a team called TMG when two weekends back to back, each player walked away with like maybe 60, thus, 60 plus thousand USD. In two weeks time, Oh, a really decent job in the US working for a full year is like maybe around 60,000 USD. We have kids playing in this league right now that have a chance and they did. One of the players on TMG actually is under the age of 18. And just two weeks ago, they won back to back weekends and they made a total of 60,000 USD. And they still have three more weeks to play, which they can't even play anymore. And not just that, I mean, that's just five weeks out of the year. This PEL league that I'm talking about goes year round. So that's actually a lot of money. Money that these kids are earning that could be helping the family out too. Like you have to think about it. It's not just about kids not being able to play games, but there's so many professionals that are at a young age. I hope they change the band some way to let these push young professionals keep playing. But like these kids are making money to maybe help out their parents, you know, like you don't know their situation and it's getting taken away from them. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. But I do have a list of uh, teams on here that, you know, have age restrictions, uh, you know, on, on their team. So I'm just going to go down the list of PEL teams. 
So first up, we got TJB. TJB all in the clear, their youngest player, 18. TMG, you see right here, one of their players is 17. Now, when that player turns 18, yeah, they could play. I don't know how soon that player will turn 18. Team Pi, they have a six-man roster, two of which are under 18. RSG, they have a five-man roster, two of which are under the age of 18. Uh, and like these teams have multiple uh, uh, they use four players at a time but a lot of these teams have more than a four-man roster because you don't know what might happen like for example tmg they only have four people and now one of them can't play and that's huge st they have a five-man roster one of which is 17 so not be able to play anymore ste two members can't play out of the five tc is all in the clear tiemba Three out of their five players can't play. Three out of five players is under the age of 18. And, like, the crazy part is, like, moving down the list, like, for me, it would be Weibo Gaming right here. <clears throat> Weibo Gaming, Daquan, he's 17. Just recently, Daquan got transferred onto Weibo Gaming. And Weibo Gaming, I believe, spent close to i'd have to double check on this but um insert price amount here all right i'll do some research i'll pop it up here but weibo gaming spent a considerable amount of money just this past like month to acquire daquan onto the team and now he's not even able to play like if you want to put it in perspective imagine whatever sport you love right basketball football whatever it is a player gets transferred over to another team this organization pays a huge amount of money and then this ban hits you out of nowhere where that player just can't play anymore so it's like it's, like, it's a huge loss for these teams but let's continue down this list here so 4 a.m one of the players out of their six man can't play so they're like they're looking okay act you got two ag you got three out of the six dkg you got three out of the five TEC, three out of the six. And like last but not least, we got these teams on your screen right now. Q9, two out of their five. RNG, they have a seven-man roster. Three out of the seven not able to play. SMG, one out of the five. JDE, three out of the six. LGD, one out of the six. And Nova, one out of the six. So it's just like the pel is also canceled this week due to this huge update this huge change and like i mean the, i'm pretty sure the chinese government will be serious about enforcing this i mean the news broke out recently maybe they'll allow some some like they, maybe they'll make some changes but we don't know man in the long term like people have been asking me this people have been talking about it will this give a chance for a global teams outside of china a chance to compete against china so not just in you know PUBG mobile but like the chinese have a formidable esports scene like they're one of the top esports uh competitors in the world for different games and a hundred percent this ban if it carries on the way it is set up right now the Chinese will not be as strong in esports, just like that one guy on Weibo said that I that quoted, right? In other countries and uh, other regions, there will be kids winning world champions at the age of 17. And we won't even be able to play the game until we are 18. That is actual facts right there. If the ban carries out the way it does. So it's, it's crazy news. But I, it, it looks like it's it's happening. A lot of things are changing up right now. Uh, PEL, this this tournament, this league that has hundreds of that has millions of dollars put into it, had to cancel their their schedule for this week due to to this announcement that just dropped out of nowhere. So quite crazy to see. But that's the news I want to update you guys with stay tuned i might do some more updates who knows i mean it, the scene is crazy right now in china so i wish the best for everyone there i hope stuff works its way works its <coughs> works out eventually but yeah all right man zoo nation out i hope you guys stay safe 
I hope if you're watching, you're not in China, so you can enjoy your video games. And if you happen to be watching from China, man, and you're under the age of 18, man, I don't know what I would do, but tough it out. Maybe things will change. All right, peace. Take care, everyone. That's all I wanted to say.